the back. And usually what I like from here is the following. Okay, but yeah, so let's do all that actually. If you're new to this, just start with the entry. In fact, I would say start with the entry, just get that a few times. Once you're comfortable here, all right, pop your head out the back, and it comes in the center. The nice thing about this is it doesn't matter where I am on his back or which way I'm looking, I can still put whatever leg I prefer in. But the knee goes in, the foot stays on the outside. And I pull him on top of me, and then I extend to make sure that his shoulder hits the mat first and come right up into leg drag. For those of you who this is not a problem, we're gonna go to mount. Again, I'm on my head's only up because I'm talking to you, but really, I want to pummel for inside position with my head and elbow. And I want to be compressing his knees to his chin, all my weight on his hips and thighs. We're gonna look for mount. I'm gonna pummel for underhook control. I'm gonna sprawl out my right leg and I'm gonna roll my hips over his knee. And then my right knee while staying heavy on his knees and my thighs comes right to the pot of gold. And then I flatten his back to the mat. As I do that, I pull up on his shoulder so my right foot come under the butt. My head's low. Okay, now for those of you who that's not a problem, I start climbing up, keep my head to the mat. My knees come up under the armpits. Once my knees are as high as his ears, his hands are behind my neck, I start turning the corner. Look how I can post my right hand, and my left hand goes to the elbow. Turn the corner, S-mount clamp, knee to heel, both under his shoulders. I can finish on top, I lean across, or I can finish on my back with the leg, or here, controlling the leg always has the advantage of ensuring he could not run away, Sometimes that leg's not available, or you just make an educated decision that this is better, in which case, in either case, you're always gonna to wanna to control the thumb. Don't just control the wrist, I need to control the thumb, and ensure that it points from the ceiling to his feet, but not anywhere from the ceiling to his head. This can allow him to run out, I don't want that. So if, I'm, if, I, if I cannot have a leg here, I like a double, one, grip, one hand grabbing the meat of the hand and then controlling it with two hands and I'll bring his elbow to the sharp part of my hip, not my groin, control the thumb, clamp my heels to my butt and then pop my hips to the finish, making sure I'm always controlling the thumb. He's gonna be trying to move away. So I'm gonna have to constantly turn his thumb to counter his move, ensuring I'm always applying pressure in the direction the thumb is pointing. I got way ahead of myself there with the takedown of the arm lock. But listen, at the end of the day, right, we want to drill start to finish, stand up to finish. And I'm not saying if it's your first time ever seeing an outside single to go to the arm lock. Practice that. We got a lot of folks on the mat of different abilities, okay? Get the outside single, go to the roll to smash. Get the outside single to smash, go to mount. Get the outside single to smash to mount, go to the arm lock. Pair it up, guys. One, two, three. 